So normally, when I do these kinds of things, I like to put a little bit of preparation into them. Uh, instead, today I'm talking to my camera in my room, which I haven't done really anything to sort, sitting in my chair in front of basically unsorted, unfolded laundry, and fighting off a freaking 10 alarm migraine. And yet, I feel like I really did need to make this video because, well, I'm a homestuck, and right now the fandom is kind of in WTF mode. So, obviously since this is going up today, I didn't actually catch the changeover yesterday when it actually happened. And so I'm playing kind of catch up with everything today, trying to figure out, okay, what actually is going on? What is really happening? The A lot of us are obviously worried, and a lot of us are in a bit of a panic. There's a handful of people who are being really, really optimistic about this, and already people are saying that Homestuck anime is real! The meme is now reality! Even though I think technically Act 7 qualified for that, but more people are doomsaying, and there's a great reason why a lot of people are doomsaying, because any time a large publishing entity gets a hold of a property that at the previous to that was something small and beloved, changes almost inevitably take place. People are worried about censorship, People are worried about editing of content. There were concerns when the parts of the MSPA archive weren't up right away. And now, you know, we've got some word that many of the higher-ups who were previously working at What Pumpkin Studios on Hive Swap have left What Pumpkin Studios, left the team. There doesn't appear to be a What Pumpkin Studios anymore. So that obviously calls into question what is going to happen with the future of Hive Swap. You know, is Toby still on the project? It doesn't really make sense why Toby wouldn't be on the project unless he himself just didn't want to work on it anymore. They wouldn't exactly fire someone who's even more popular than Hussey is. So, it's obviously all really, really scary. And already we're seeing a lot of people lashing out on the internet about this. And with some considerable reason. But mostly this is for caution. So first of all, I just want to say, for the most part, I am not optimistic. This isn't like the Act 7 video where I was ask, trying to ask people who didn't like Act 7 to keep participating. This is more along the lines where I know exactly what everyone is going through. I'm going through it myself right now. I'm worried. I'm scared. And I want to make sure we take the right actions. So to kind of like calm the fires a little bit, let's first talk about Viz Media. So Viz Media does not have a perfect track record, but one of the things Hussey said about him and them in this update, how they have a history of keeping beloved properties alive and going is true. I mean, Viz Media has covered and is a part of many popular properties to this day. And those properties are not ruined for Viz Media's presence for the most part. So, the hope is that as little will change as possible. Now, Obviously, I do still miss the MSPA site, and I do still miss logging on and seeing John's dorky face staring at me from the old GIF. And already there are some things they're doing with spoilers that I wish they wouldn't do. But 
we also have to understand that Viz kind of has to take this property that is currently, yes, there's a lot of us, but it's still a very small subset of the culture. I wear Homestuck shirts almost all the time now, and I happen to be lucky and actually have someone recognize it today, but most of the time that doesn't happen. Most people don't know what Homestuck is. It hasn't reached internet culture into main meme media. Main meme media? Yeah, that's kind of appropriate. Anyway, so... We have a right to be worried, but I don't think we should panic yet. That being said, I do think we should make our ideas and our concerns heard to this. But here's the important thing. This is what we have to understand. And this is why I get really worried when I see a lot of the things that I've seen on the internet. We can be an asset to Viz, or they can ignore us. A lot of people might think, oh, there's too many of us, they won't ignore us, we're too important. They're going to try to make money off this property no matter what. They are going to try to make as much profit as they can. Now, they can do this one of two ways. They can do it with us, with us guiding them and expressing our concerns and telling them what we want, what we expect, what we are willing to buy, and what we are not willing to buy, and using us, the passionate fan base, as word of mouth to bring more people into Homestuck. Or, they can go on without us. I guarantee, even though they don't need us, even though we still aren't numerous enough that they need us, I guarantee they would prefer to do this with us. I guarantee they would rather have the millions of Homestuck fans as a resource in helping to develop whatever they are planning on doing to keep Homestuck in the public eye, on the internet, and making them money, which is ultimately what their goal is going to be. They're going to want us to buy HiveSwap. And they're going to want us to try to get our friends to buy HiveSwap. They're going to want us to buy any additional games that they want to make in the future. They're going to want us to buy the comics. They're going to want us to buy the merchandise. Everyone, the, one of the, the big wish fulfillments that everyone thinks this means is that this is the potential for a Homestuck manga and anime. They're going to want us to buy that. If they can get, you know, the, I think the Act 7 is currently sitting at something like 800,000 views. If they can get all 800,000 people who watched Act 7 to currently continue to feed into Homestuck, get more people, revive some of the old fandom who left during the pauses, and then purchase their products. That's what they want to do. That is an established purchasing base, an established money-making form for them. So they want to do this with us. And so if we go to them and say, Hi, Viz. First of all, thanks for letting us read Homestuck on mobile. Thanks for getting rid of the obsolescence of Flash. Thanks for taking the time to convert all of this stuff. Can we get some of the old MSPA stuff more prominent on the site instead of just Homestuck? Or maybe even bring back MSPA and have that be maybe a separate entity? 
can we get the spoilers toned down? I know you want to bring new people into the fandom, but there's already a lot of resources if people want to see the spoilers. Having them on the front page, maybe that's not an appropriate. Having it in, in the about section, maybe that's not appropriate. You know, hey, we would much rather you work with the What Pumpkin team, you know, We'd much rather see these projects continue and develop in the vision that Hussey and the team originally had as opposed to whatever spinning, spin you might be planning on putting on it. If we go to them and voice our concerns without, like, threatening bloody murder... Like, actually, like, talk like reasonable people and say, Hi, we're the Homestuck fan base. This is what we would like to see happen with Homestuck. It's probably going to happen. Again, they'd much rather do that with us than without us. But if we just dig in our heels and say... We're not going to let you do this to the thing that we love. Well, they're just going to say, well, you've got archives. And that'll be the end of it. They will take the properties. They will take the iconic characters that already have so much that anyone could potentially market with them. And they will just use them however they see fit. And they will just ignore our complaints. And they will ignore our protests. They will get whatever money they think they can get out of this. And that'll be that. We'll be left with the archives. We'll be left with our fan fiction and our fan acts and the Homestuck Omega and Homestuck Act 8 projects. You know, all of the theories, you know, Blade Kind Eyewear and Ivory Tower. We'll get to keep all that probably. They won't they won't touch that. Because, you know, at the end of the day, they still don't own everything to that, and those kind of things would be protected under fair use anyway. But everything else? All the future hive stock swap? You know. Are we going to get the full story for Hive Swap as it was envisioned? Are we going to get the Hive Bent counter or sorry, Haunt Bent counter story? Is that going to happen? We can definitely insist that it will happen if we talk to them like rational people, but if we just scream and cry in a panic and shout bloody murder, they're just going to say fine. We'll Make this just another hidden object game for the phone, or we'll make uh, another point-click adventure game. Hey, I think I, I hear loot boxes uh, are actually going to continue to happen. It looks like all of those laws against them are being struck down and not happening, so maybe we can do that. This is unfortunately, and like I said, part of it is just this. There's almost a visceral thing. Like, when I typed in MSPA into my browser this morning, and it redirected to homestuck.com, it hit me in the feels like I was not prepared for. I just flat out was not ready for that. And so it's understandable to have a visceral gut reaction. But at the end of the day, Viz wants to make money. They can more easily make that money if they go with us. If they sell us the products that we say we want. That is going to work out for everyone. But if we raise too much of a fuss, if we come across as the irrational fandom 
that so many people want to depict us as. And I, I will say this until my dying breath, the Homestuck fandom is fantastic. Has it had bad apples? Has it had moments that you look back at and it was kind of that, oh, did that really happen? Yes. But on the whole, the Homestuck fandom is an amazing fandom. This fandom has gotten me through so much. And I want to see it keep going. And Viz, one way or another, is not going to stop that. But it will go stronger if we continue to have the part, the role, and the influence that we had in Homestuck's growth to begin with. Hussey created this story to be interactive. He created it in an idea of how can I tell a story in a way that involves the audience, that brings them on and turns them into participants in the story, co-creators of the story who have just as much responsibility and as much involvement as I do, and still keep a coherent narrative together. That's how Homestuck should continue to progress. We can still have that if we make our voices heard to Viz in a way that doesn't drive them away, that doesn't validate the stereotypes that the corporate heads probably have of all of these internet communities, we'll probably get it. Again, it's the choice of having one million people all ready to buy your product or having to make in our own audience. I, I think they're going to choose having the million. So all we have to do is just make our voices heard without driving them away. That's it. Those are, that's really the choices. And it's, in a way, it's kind of empowering to know that we have that level of voice. That this is something, because the community has taken such ownership in it, in a way, we can easily continue to influence Homestuck. as long as we're willing to do it in a way that doesn't leave people screaming for the hills. So, be concerned, be worried, make your voices heard, but make them heard as the same loving fandom. Okay, maybe not so same but make it heard as the loving fandom that wants to see this project continue to succeed. Don't live up to the stereotypes these people might already have for us. And more than likely, Homestuck.com will be okay. The MSPA archives will be okay. HiveSwap will be fine. Haunt Bent will be fine. We'll finally get an epilogue. And we might be able to see things we never thought we'd ever really see in this reality come to fruition. So yes, be concerned and be vocal. But do not panic. Listen to Douglas Adams. Don't panic. Grab your towel. And if you... Don't, aren't a part of that fandom too, go join it. It's fantastic. Not as good as Homestuck in my opinion, but still fantastic books. Be calm. Remember, you're here forever. And I'll see you all in the medium.